Welcome back to my Samurai Project. In my last uh, video, I, I mentioned that I didn't have a back seat, so today I'm fixing that. This is a bracket from Low Range Off Road and a Corbo fold and tumble seat. So, this is what I got uh, the brackets from Corbo, some seat belts, some stickers, some hardware. Since my Samurai didn't originally come with a back seat, I had to kind of just figure out where this goes and it, to be honest it's not that hard even though it doesn't have bolt holes for the seats it does have the nuts on the other side so you could actually just drill through the hole in the right spot and find all the mounting holes but here what I'm doing is just mocking up so the bracket just lying in place and then mocking up the seat and then deciding where I wanted to put the holes I chose not to go with the original mounting holes uh, basically just because I wanted a bit more flexibility on where exactly I put it. So I just drilled through the floor. The gas tank is on the other side. Uh, I did actually have to lower the gas tank down and that's to get clearance. Here you can see my holes are about two inches back of the factory mounting holes. Incidentally this is the skid plate for the fuel tank. It had about five pounds of mud in it. So here's the bracket with bolts at the front and the rear. I brought it back as far as possible. This maximizes leg room, but does limit some storage behind it. Because the bracket is adjustable, I could move it forward if I wanted to. I cleaned up the floor with a bit of primer and paint, and basically just eliminated some of the mild surface rust. I'm planning on putting some sound deadening in the Samurai. It's pretty noisy. This stuff is Noiko. I bought it because it's similar in reviews to Dynamat, but it's quite a bit cheaper. I haven't used this before, so it was the first time applying it. It was pretty straightforward. I plan on adding more of this to the Samurai as this project goes along. I haven't entirely decided what I'm going to do to cover this. I will probably put down some rubber mat. I'm thinking about covering it with a rubberized spray basically undercoating. Obviously there's the concern that there could be some adhesion issues uh, applying uh, undercoating to the aluminized sound barrier, but uh, I might try it anyway just to see how it works. So dropping the gas tank down on the Samurai is pretty easy, there's only four bolts. I discovered though putting it back up is, it's not hard, but it is really dusty. I should have done a better job of cleaning off the skid plate. Basically when I was tightening it up with this uh, electric impact, it just showered down dust into my eyes. Eventually I gave up on the impact and just hand tightened everything. So here's the bracket completely bolted in. I'm pretty happy with how it sits in there. I'm also pretty happy with this Corbo seat. So there's the latch to fold the back up and then the whole thing tumbles forward as well. So with it in its fully folded position there, uh, I have quite a bit of storage still in the back. And of course it goes up and down pretty easily. The overall quality of the seat seems pretty good. I'm happy with how it looks and how it feels. And I think from a comfort point of view, this is going to be much more comfortable than the stock Samurai backseat. For the remaining seatbelt, I used the factory mounting locations. The nuts were welded on the underneath, but I still had to drill a hole from the top to find the nuts. 
this was pretty straightforward on the driver's side as I was able to see it from the bottom pretty easily. On the passenger side it was a bit more tricky because the uh, gas tank is kind of in the way on that side. So here on the passenger side, I knew the general area where the nut would be under the sheet metal. So I drilled down. That was pretty close, but I had to drill a couple holes to get it just right. When I torqued it, it twisted the bracket a bit, which of course is inconsequential, but the OCD kicked in a little bit, so I had to redo it and straighten it. So this is the seat done. I'm pretty happy with all this. Like I say, I'm going to cover the sound deadening material with something, but the seat is in, it's sturdy, the seat belts are good, the seat looks comfortable, I'm happy with the quality. Overall, I'm pretty happy with this entire setup. So coming up next, I'm going to install these wheels and tires on the Samurai. These are 29 inch tires. I also have an EMU 2 inch lift kit that will go on first in order to fit these tires. So stay tuned and thanks for watching.